In the world of AI, everybody is talking about AI agents. Agents that can help you solve complex problems. But not everybody is technical, right? Not everybody can code. And that's where platforms like DeFi or some other platforms like Flowwise, for example, can help us. Help us with what, you might ask? Well, it depends. Maybe you have a part of your own business that you want to automate or you want to include ChatGPT into it or you wanna sell this service to someone else. For example, these people on Fiverr sell these agents for some nice amounts of money, and this trend is totally new, this AI agent for your business. Honestly, nowadays, even your local bakery wants to have some stuff automated, so this gives you a lot of opportunities right away. In this video, we will focus on DeFi, and I'll show you how to build a RAG agent using various tools and your own knowledge base. This knowledge base, so-called knowledge base, can be any kind of document, can be any type of website even. It can be different types of data, it can be book. So we will see how to create AI agent with DeFi, how to automate workflows and orchestrate processes using this powerful no-code AI environment. Now on GitHub, as you can see, it already has over 40,000 stars and it's easily one of the most used platform nowadays. They all have like they have all the info here, which you will probably need. So I strongly suggest first look at this, read it through. There's a lot of info down there and you can see with what it operates and you can find it here on the main web page. As you can see, the GitHub button is here. Now you can get this locally with Docker, for example, if you just compose this one, but also you can just use this for free on their cloud, right? So this cloud, is basically the website and you can just use it for free for a certain period of time for like 200 free GPT-4 calls in the sandbox plan. And I'm gonna focus here on the no code platform because not everybody, well, this is for non-technical people to be honest, you know, non-technical people in the community. I wanna show you how easy this is and how, it, you know, a normal person can use this without the need to know anything about coding or programming or whatever. I think that this is really important nowadays because you don't have to pay no one in order to make something like this today or you can sell this to a lot of people out there who just, well, just don't want to invest a minute in order to learn this kind of thing, which should be in elementary schools now. So first of all, create yourself an account, click on get started here, use GitHub or Google account, I already have one and this is going to be your dashboard. First of all, if you head over to the explore button here, you will meet all of the apps which are created by DeFi. Now these are high level things created by DeFi and you can just use this right away, you know? drag and drop, just whatever you feel that you need in your workflow. You know, there's a lot of these categories here, like programming, workflow, writing, even HR, you know, there's a lot of these things. But the next thing, which is far more important and more customizable is the studio here. So if you click on studio, first of all, as you can see, you have the option to create chatbot agent, which I'll show you later, and you can automate a certain workflow. Now, first of all, you have to go to knowledge here, right? I'll show you now how to create a knowledge base. A knowledge base is essentially your own data, right? For example, if you have hundreds of documents or a website, you can sync that website using an API to include it in your knowledge base. You know, for example, if you have an e-commerce website, you can sync data from there. And if I just click on create knowledge here, it's gonna ask me, import, from file, that is from the file that you have locally, or you can sync from Notion template, or you can just sync the website, as I've mentioned earlier. Now, I'm gonna assume that you have some documents locally. Okay, so you have the file on you and you wanna do something with it. I will just click on import here, and I'll just use a simple book that I have. It's PDF file, some Google Analytics 101, whatever, is this one. So it's Google Analytics 101 PDF. It's a fairly small one. And then all you have to do is to click on the next button. Now, this is very important. Let me explain. First of all, you have chunk settings here. You have two options. You have automatic and you have custom. In the automatic, it says automatically set chunk and pre-processing rules. Now, if you're not familiar with chunking, if you don't know what size should the chunk be, 
how should I decide a overlap? Should it be a semantic chunk or hybrid chunk? Just select the automatic option. All right, so this one is for you. As I've told you, this is for non-technical people. If you want to do custom chunking, then you probably don't want to watch this video. The next one is index mode. So indexing is important. Indexing just like, you know, think of it as a table of content, right, for a book. It's a place where you kind of have different topics and relations in a book. That's what's what index is. And there are two types here on DeFi. There's high quality and there's economical. High quality one, well, this is something that you have to pay for it. And economical is something which is free, right? So I'm just going to use this one. So it says use offline vector engines, keyword indexes, etc. And I'm just using it for this demo purpose, right? If you're building an application for yourself or if you are building an application for one of your clients, you will, you will definitely use this one. But for the demo right now, I'll just use this one. And the last one is retrieval setting. And this is like top K. You can read more about it. But as a rule of thumb, just leave it at three, right? Three is going to be good. Click on save here. And then there's your document here. This is your knowledge base. You can change name here in the settings here. So I'll just name it test agent like this. Click on save once more. And then we are ready for the next step. So we have our knowledge base, right? This is what application or an agent needs to work with. Now, we go back to the studio here, and then you just create from blank. When you click on create from blank, it'll open up this, and then you can just choose agent, right? Because that's what we wanna make. And then I'll just name it test agent once more, like this, just test agent 101, whatever. And then you will land here. First of all, the most important part is the context here, right? You don't need to have variables. You don't have to like write different prompts here, but the context is the knowledge base, right? So for this application, we wanna use that knowledge base we made earlier, right? And for example, if you work with some clients, they would send you their knowledge base and you take that and you put that as a context here. For example, a person wants you to run their e-commerce website, right? So those tables like XLS tables, Excel sheet, whatever, you would put all of those here in the context by clicking here on add. And of course, this is your reference knowledge. This is the test agent that we've made earlier. I click on that, I click on add, and that's it, right? Now, this application is gonna work from this. This is all that application knows about, right? This is like a training of AI. So our application knows what is inside of this knowledge base, right? And we put a book there about something. And then this application can only be used to answer questions based on that knowledge base, right? I hope this makes sense. Next on, you select the tools which you would like this agent to operate with. Click on here on add, and there's many of these, and you see all of these that are grayed out. You can't use them, you can just pay for them. You can get a subscription on DeFi and then later use them. But there's a lot of these free ones. I like to use like Yahoo Finance news and analytics and tickers and Basically, I use all of these, which are free, and they do the work, right? I also use DuckDuckGo Search. I like this one as well. It's basically a tool which replaces Google Search in this example, right? Google Search is here. So if someone asks a certain question, which I will show later, so if someone asks a certain question to this AI agent of ours, it'll go to DuckDuck Search in order to, yeah, search the internet. Now, if you take a look at these tools here, let me just close this one. If you take a look at all of these tools, all of these six tools, I've added them without writing a single line of code, right? I haven't coded nothing at all. I've simply added these tools to my AI agent and I have my knowledge base, right? So this is the RAG agent already. All you have to do is to select the module here, that is the LLM, Temperature, I usually give this like 0 0.7. And for the max tokens, I go 1024. 
that's it and then I just click publish here so I just click on publish and then click on the update button here and as you can see this is now on a cloud and you can run this to see if it's working right run app click here on run app and then it'll open up this chat window right so I already asked different questions so you can see firstly I asked like what is this about right so could you please provide more context or specify what would you like to know more about and of course I followed up with what is this book Google Analytics 101 about and as you can see here used knowledge right in order to answer to this question it used the knowledge base and of course it read the book right and it gave me the summary and then I just wanted to use as you can see duck duck go search so I've asked this list me 10 companies who performed well in the stock market recently and of course it's gonna provide just like chat GPT is doing right and all of this has been done without coding right but this is on a cloud you can test this one out but you have to pay for a subscription on DeFi if you want to get the full version of it. But if you want to make money with this, it's totally worth it, right? As you can see, some of these actionable AI agents are selling for almost $600, right? Standard version here, as you can see, this is like more pro, right? And as I've told you, all of these people out there, they want to automate their companies. They want to automate their businesses. This is the new trend. It is possible to make money with this. So wish you good luck and happy exploring.